Hello, I'm Liz Saurav. And I'm Mr J. And this is By The Farm. And on this channel, you'll find all things gardening, poultry keeping and life on our small homestead. In my last video, uh, I talked about uh, being quite down at the moment and uh, coping with SAD, which is a seasonal affective disorder. Uh, and in our live chat yesterday, uh, we promised that we would talk a little bit more about some of the things that I do, um, or that we do, mm. um, to deal with uh, the inevitable dip uh, that I go through each winter. As you've probably noticed, I'm wearing a hoodie because actually what I do is I hide. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so there are some practical things. For example, during the summer and autumn and early part of the winter, this bulk prepares quite a lot of food. So there are things that when she's having a flump day, uh, I can just grab out of the freezer and stick in the microwave and we've got something that's nutritious but quick and that I can't ruin because <laughs> that would just make things so much worse. So that's one very important thing. We're not ending up relying on junk food because that's all that's available. We've got decent quality food, so we're getting good nutrition. Yeah, and, and, there's, a, and there's a variety of it as well. So it's, it's one of those, uh, it's easy to prepare. Whenever I cook, um, I, I try and cook more than we're going to eat in one meal uh, so that some, some more can go into the freezer uh, just, just ready for those, those times. And if we don't ever need them, then hurrah. Mm. Uh, but if we do, they're there. Uh, one of the other things I do is to use uh, a light box uh, like the one behind. <laughs> so here it says a light box, um, which is uh, specifically designed for sufferers of uh, SAD. Uh, and I've used one for very many years, so probably best part of 20 years now. Um, and what I really need to do is start using it around the middle of August. Uh, and what I really do is I start reminding her around the beginning of August that she needs to start using it. Uh, it's part of my regular daily routine, actually, along with getting various um, minerals and supplements that we take together, is reminding her to use a light box. Yeah. Uh, and very often I don't start using it until October no, well or even November I was going to say <laughs> it's you know so it's much too it is usually too late but at least once I've started using it I can um, notice the difference I can always tell when she hasn't been light boxing for a two or three days it, it there's a there's a grayness to her pallor and um, and definitely to her mood yeah so now this doesn't um he's talking about a grayness to my palette it doesn't actually give you a tan uh it's not that kind of a light box it um it's it gives you the equivalent of uh ooh, almost caribbean sunshine um and you have to get the light uh onto your retina and then that triggers um the happy <laughs> hormones in your brain um and as long as i use it enough uh for long enough it's not too bad um, and also getting outside into the fresh air mm. really really helps and that's one of the other things that that we've done in the last four years is we moved here and mm. that's had an enormous impact yes um, I mean we're in a very light kitchen I know this isn't uh, as good light as being outside but it's still better than yeah. dark and it was one of the appeals of the house mm. was that it is this is such a light environment uh, we've got windows, a whole wall of windows, there's more windows, there's uh, ceiling lights. And this is the room that, that most of the year I spend the majority mm. of my time in until it gets to mid-mid-winter when mm. actually this room is quite cold because it doesn't have any heating in it. And then I move into the living room, which is actually generally much, much darker, yes. uh, fewer windows, smaller room. Um, and so my the amount of light I'm getting all day long reduces. And, and so she has to use the light box more. I have to use the light box more. And then occasionally, that just isn't enough. Mm. It just isn't enough. And the last week or so, there, we've also had quite a lot of um, external <laughs> issues um, that have just brought me down. And actually, do you know what has been quite a stressful 
autumn. Mm. We've had, we've had. A, I mean, we've had every, a everybody of, has a lot yeah. of, of, of stresses and things. We've had different ones. Yes, ones um, that we're not used to. And and obviously, we've also had the regular stresses of you know my busiest time at work, uh, Christmas. Although we don't really do anything with it very much, it's. It still impinges on people. It still causes a certain amount of stress. Mm. And we are now in that post-January celebration of the new year time when everything's flat and everybody's a bit... Nah. But when you're suffering from uh, something like SAD, it's like, yeah, normally, you know, we're all we're all at sort of that level of, of wahooness. Uh, and in January, when you know the credit card bills have come in, not that we've got those either, thank goodness. But you know that sort of time, everyone's a bit more like that. Well, someone with SAD is like that. But in January, when the credit card bills have come in, they're more like that. Yeah, and it's you know this isn't about credit card bills. It's not about debt because we don't have any. It is just about feeling incredibly low. Um, so we. Uh, we prepare as much as we can in the months before during the summer and the months beforehand uh, I use the light box uh, and if you're interested in those uh, I'll leave a link um, to the light boxes in the in the description section below uh, so you can find out a bit more about them one of the other things we do uh, Mr Jay mentioned was, um, was supplements so I take um, vitamins and minerals all year round mm. Uh, but they change according to the season. So in the summer, when I'm outside more, I take less yeah. uh, vitamin D3. Uh, in the winter, we increase that. Um, I was reading um, yesterday the National Health Service recommendations that uh, that we all take. Well, actually, I think it was for uh, children over one or so. But but as well, that counts us, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm just saying, not babies. Uh, that that uh, all adults take um, a, a low level of uh, vitamin D3 during the winter because we're just not getting uh, the light levels mm. that we would need to. Vitamin D comes uh, from can be made by our bodies from sunshine. Um, and is also found in a whole variety uh, of foods like uh, oily fish, red meat, um, egg yolks, uh, bread, uh, cereals and um, and fat spreads. Many of which we don't eat. Yeah, well, most of which we don't <laughs> eat. Uh, we eat a little bit of red meat, uh, we eat egg yolks, but uh, the guidelines say that uh, even if you were eating all of those foods, You'd be unlikely to to get enough for your daily needs, um, and because we don't eat bread, we don't eat oily fish, we don't eat fat spreads, and I can't remember what the other things I said. But we do, we do eat egg yolks, yeah. but, uh, but oh, no, don't we just? But but not enough to get that. So uh, so we increase my uh, my dose of um, vitamin D three, and then I also take a, a whole host of other uh, vitamins and minerals. Uh, to support my system, which isn't very good at processing uh, the things that I eat naturally. Um, so that's just mm. a, a backup and a boost. One of the other important things, of course, is exercise and moving. He says sitting very still. Um, <laughs> I'm lucky because in my uh, in my day job, I'm walking 15 miles or so a day, four days a week. So I'm getting plenty of exercise. Um, and we also both have chores we do here on the homestead that count as exercise I think yeah and Liz obviously has her daily chores here on the homestead uh, looking after the animals shifting food and water and wood chips um, and lots of wood chips and lots of wood chips <laughs> so it but that's also a very important thing in terms of you've got a routine there are certain things you have to do it's something we've talked about yeah. before with Liz's depression in general um, the fact that there are certain things that are fixed you need to get up and let the animals out you need to go out and put them to bed you need to go and make sure they're topped up with food and water um, that's not running to someone else's routine um, but it is making sure that, that your responsibilities are taken care of yeah yeah and and on the couple of days where I have been really really low getting out there is is really hard work I, I'm smiling about it but it is it is excruciatingly painful emotionally just to get up and do anything. But once I'm up, 
Mm. Once I'm doing, once I'm out with the birds, once I'm chatting to the ducks and talking to the chickens, my mood does lift. And some of that is getting a little, that tiny bit of, of light. Mm. And um, fresh air. And fresh air. And actually not being quite so focused on just how horrid I feel. And I think we can all relate to that, even if we're not uh, SAD sufferers ourselves. Um I don't know anybody who doesn't have days when they think, oh, I don't want to go to work. I don't want to get up this morning. I can't be bothered. I just want to quit it all and go and hide in a cave. <laughs> um, but with good Wi-Fi. Um, I mean, and there with, are good so- with good Wi-Fi. Oh, right. And a good wife. Um, she could hide in the cave next door for when you're feeling really, I don't want to be with anybody. Um, but there have certainly been days when, you know, I'm, I'm facing the public and I don't necessarily want to be cheerful and friendly and bouncy and, and jolly, but you have to be. Uh, so you put on the front and actually it wears off. It wears off on you. you know, after a while of sort of going, all right, I'll be smiling. Fake it till you make it. Yeah, exactly. That, exactly. Fake yeah. it till you make it. Um, yeah. And, that, and then I find that um, I can do that for so long and then I just reach a point where I can't. I can't the faking it doesn't work no. uh it, I, I, you know it's a fake it till you make it but i don't actually make it because yeah. my my negative feelings are so strong that they outweigh uh the positive ones and it just becomes that that becomes really difficult mm. so while i can uh fake it till i make it and while i can have really light cheerful moments there is that underlying heavy heart and and it doesn't work and that's what i've reached this week it's one of those you know i'm having quite bright Mm. cheery moments but underneath it is just yuck (laughs) it's really Mm. it's not working so we are in the depths of dealing with uh a moment or two Mm. aren't we Uh, yeah it's it's and hopefully uh the sun is out today or we'll get outside for a little bit uh, maybe I will just be able to do some bits and pieces. I'm looking outside now. It's, it's looking quite windy. <laughs> it is quite cold, but hopefully uh, we'll get out there mm. and do a little bit and that will will start to alleviate uh, some of it. What else do we do? We talk. Well, you talk. <laughs> talk. I talk incessantly. Mm. <laughs> But uh, no, that's fine. And occasionally I, it's the only problem I ever have with Liz talking when she's down is knowing when I'm meant to make a response and when I'm not. Yeah. I'm getting better. Um, Yeah. And I'm getting better at saying you don't need to, hmm. that you don't need to have an answer. I just need to talk about this. Um, And that's probably helps. Mm, Absolutely. And we, so we do, we, we talk and we, we just spend, we spend quiet time together, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. Even if we're not doing anything, we're just watching TV or looking at our phones or just being. Um, we do actually make a point of spending some time together every day, even when we're both really frantically busy with a million other things, which yeah. has been the case quite a lot over the last couple of months. Uh, well, even just the last couple of years, actually. <laughs> we just get very busy, mm, don't we? We do. So. There's one other thing that is very, very important, and that is acknowledging it. Acknowledging that that, that, that the situation is what it is. Yeah. Um, because it is very easy to miss unless you, unless you know the look in someone's eye when they're not themselves. Um, and if you don't acknowledge it, you can't do anything about it. You can't put all the, the prep, preparations that you've put in place into action. Yeah. Um, and it... And it just makes things worse. Yes, yes. So the uh, and in some ways, Mister J can see what's going on. And in fact, a couple of viewers have said to me uh, that they were aware that I was on a downward slope, uh, probably before I was. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but that thing of saying, actually, do you know what? I'm not doing very well. Is is a really good thing because it means that once I've said it, uh, we can put uh, other things into action. Mm. We can make a point of uh, actually going out and doing stuff and not letting me sit still for too long. 
we can make sure that there's good food around um, we make sure that there's extra fruit about so that I'm not dipping into all the cake and chocolate which would be my normal go-to um, and actually all of those things don't help no. do they? Uh, whilst I would say chocolate cures everything uh, it doesn't <laughs> um, and 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 eating all those heavy stodgy mm. foods uh, don't don't improve my mood at all in the end no so yeah so acknowledging it so that we can then put stuff into place really important so there we go uh, some of the, the things that we do they sound very simple and very basic and in some ways they are aren't they but sometimes the simple things are the most effective yeah and um, and basically we then just have to ride the ride the misery out yeah uh, and wait uh, for things to look look more rosy again yeah yeah which they will and they do and that I think I was saying the other day the difference is now when I when I get like this now is that I know that I'm going to come out the other side of it uh, um, a few years ago I didn't know that was going to happen and everything looked very bleak. Um, now now we've seen enough of a pattern that we know that there is, you know, it won't be too long before my mood starts lifting mm. again and uh, and I can stop being a miserable old trout. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? Please. Oh, please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's it. Uh, those are the few things that we do. And so... Uh, wherever you are in the world and whatever you've got planned for today, I hope it's a good one. And I also hope you'll join us again next time. Bye-bye.